David Levin, and this is another iconic episode of Pop Goes the Culture, the behind-the-scenes TV stories you wouldn't have known from the people who were there. Today, Chapter 6 in our nine-part tale, my chat with the original Jimmy Olsen, Jack Larson, and Lois Lane, Noel Neal, from the legendary 1950s TV series The Adventures of Superman, starring George Reeves. Noel and Jack discuss why they thought the Superman series was so successful, what John Hamilton, who played Perry White, was really like, what they thought about the amazing character actors they got to work with, guests like Sterling Holloway and Elijah Cook Jr. Believe me, trivia fans, this is one for the ages. What's something that people just don't know? That people just would never have suspected watching the show that they never would have suspected about Superman, about doing the show, or about the characters, or about... Well, it's like, like the kids, the students, when I was doing the college shows, sort of hoot, um, they said, now come on. Glasses on Clark Kent. Why do you mean you don't know Superman is under all that stuff and whatever, you know? They say, don't you know? And I said, I, I, I didn't know because I didn't want to get fired. <laughs> I, I love my job. <laughs> but they could never realize that uh, just the pair of glasses made the difference. But he carried the. Oh, Recognize I, me <laughs> Well, look, there's Superman now. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> but, in one show, mm -hmm. when when George is Superman has uh, George Reeves has oh, amnesia right. and he falls, falls through a glass shower, shower and Jimmy is taking care of him right, is a, yeah. uh, in the apartment with him yeah. at the time and discovers him and he falls through the glass yes. shower door mm -hmm. without the glasses and Jimmy mm -hmm. comes rushing in mm -hmm. and so I said to the director mm -hmm. at the time I said, um, well. He doesn't have his glasses on, and how is it that my Jimmy doesn't know that his uh, Clark Kent yeah, is Superman, Superman because we're right. face to face and I'm helping yeah, him right. up off the floor and everything. So everybody stood around <laughs> and then thought about it. And finally, Whit Elsworth came in and said, kid, don't open that keg of beans. <laughs> He said, just play the scene. Yeah. You just don't recognize him. <laughs> and, uh, oh, I, that's funny. I thought that's me. fine, yeah. And then you all came running in right afterwards, uh, uh, John Hamilton. And, and, or we came dashing in to save yeah. everybody or find out what happened to him. Yeah. But I think everybody, the, the things that uh, there's not much that people wouldn't know. It was a simple mm -hmm. show. Yeah. The thing that I think that people do know is that we obviously enjoyed each other, oh, sure. liked right. working yeah, together, right. yeah. and there was rapport. And I believe, aside from the fact mm -hmm. that it is Superman, and in every form Superman, uh, whether it's film, whether it was radio, whether it was comic book, has always been extraordinarily successful. Mm -hmm. And that's by mm -hmm. virtue of the character. But mm -hmm. I think the reason why our show, which was not done on a huge budget, <laughs> budget <laughs> and such, and uh, but with wonderful crew work and oh, everything. Yeah. I think that the reason why that people enjoy watching it, and it has never gone off the air. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Lucy and Superman, mm -hmm. I believe, are the only two shows that have never gone off the air. Mm -hmm. And I think the reason for it is the rapport Before between that yeah. you feel mm -hmm. that they liked each other mm -hmm. and. I can tell the audience out there, if you use it, we did like each other. We really <laughs> like George <laughs> called himself Honest George, George the people's right? friend. And I just, I gave John Hamilton a lot of room <laughs> <laughs> because John, oh, who was my Perry White, yes. don't call me chief, chief, was an old time Broadway actor, member of the Lambs Club. And uh, he was very high diddly dee, an actor yeah. come to me. And he was Mr. Hamilton. Yes, I was young yeah, when I started the show. Mr. And he was definitely Mr. <laughs> Hamilton. It took me several years to get around to, John, is this okay? And, uh, and such. But uh, uh, I, I adored him, oh, yeah, John. Was so funny. And, uh, and the character actors, mm. because everybody was out of work. Mm -hmm. Studios had closed down, so we were fortunate to work with great act Elizabeth Patterson, who was in the show about the ben cat, Weldon. Ben, ben Weldon, Weldon uh, yeah. uh, and um, uh, Sterling it's Holloway. Holloway. Yeah. Um, who later did the voice of Winnie the Pooh? Pardon? Who later did the voice, the cartoon voice of Winnie the Pooh? Sterling yes. Holloway. 
Yeah. Oh, well, he did. A, I mean, he's wonderful in film after film. And was sternly, and my favorite was Elijah Cook Jr., who's the fall guy in the Maltese Falcon. Mm -hmm. And But these people were, I mean, great actors from uh, Broadway. Uh, Sterling Holloway introduced in the first Rogers and Hart show, Garrick Gaieties, he introduced the song, I'll take Manhattan, the Bronx and Staten Island too, if you will, mm -hmm, the zoo. Uh, that was Sterling, and he did wonderful films for great directors, and Cookie, who, oh, yes, Cookie, oh my gosh, right, Jim. Cookie, who is in, uh, I don't know, what, what, oh, it's Jimmy Olsen, Send Me Private Eye. Mm -hmm. Uh, is a uh, cookie uh, plays the private well he's Maltese Falcon which happens to be my favorite, favorite film too. and cookie one day uh, said to me he said have you ever played Richard in our wilderness and I said no I did the monologue in the town uh, mm -hmm. center once and he said well you ought to play it and I said well I'd love to he said you know I created it and I must oh, have looked really? like you created. It's <laughs> Eugene O'Neill. It's yeah. one of the great plays. And I must have looked funny. And so, uh, <laughs> not that I disbelieved him, but then the next day he brought in his copy of All Wilderness, which was signed to him on the thing by, it says, it's to Elijah Cook Jr., mm -hmm. who brought my youth alive for me on the stage, mm. Eugene O'Neill and the date and uh, oh. so these people it was uh, because everybody did the Superman show because mm -hmm. <laughs> well they liked they doing work, it right? but there was no work mm -hmm. but you worked with people mm -hmm. if you respected the entertainment industry and showbiz that it was the greatest thrill to work with. Raymond Hatton, who had been part of the duo of Wallace Berry and Raymond Hatton in silent films. Ray Hatton did a number of our right, of our see. things. And to work with these people, for me, was the greatest joy and blessing and learning experience that you could have as an actor. Because if you were eager to learn, they would help you. That's it for now. Next time, Jack and Noel talk about shooting the final episode of Superman. Noel visits George Reeves before he died. The season that never happened. What happened after George Reeves died on the Superman set? The Superman Jimmy Olsen spinoff that almost happened. Plus, a bit about the Super Pup pilot and the Superboy pilot that never made it to series. Till then, who are your favorite characters on the Superman series? Let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. Hey, if you want to keep these conversations going, help me out by becoming a Patreon subscriber. Just three bucks a month gets you first dibs on Ask Them Yourself call-ins.